Hi there and welcome to today's vlog. Now I want to take you back to early 2000. It's uh, perhaps seems a long time ago uh, now. I, we'd, uh, or I'd rather, I'd been asked to consider leaving Sheffield where we were there to move to a church to become minister of a town centre church here in Doncaster, Priory Place Methodist Church. Uh, the, the church was without a minister and that was one of the most difficult decisions that Sue and I have ever had to take and it took much prayer and not a few tears but eventually we felt it was right to leave our friends in, and our churches in Sheffield and move to Doncaster. Before we got to Doncaster I received a letter in the post or a card. It was from a, a lady called Margaret and it was a letter she was a member of the Doncaster Church and she was really saying uh, how much they were looking forward to us being there and that we were in her prayers. Uh, when I was packing up uh, this time last year or just a little bit earlier our house in Leicester to move back to Doncaster I came across that card I'd obviously kept it because it was very special uh, and meant a lot to me and I still have it although I couldn't for this purpose lay my finger on it I still have it somewhere because it was really important and and uh, the reason I mentioned that partly is because I had the privilege yesterday uh, it was a sad but a joyful occasion of taking Margaret's uh, funeral service uh, she was uh, known as Auntie Margaret to many people uh, because of her love and her care uh, she was uh, so supportive along with her husband Gilbert of Sue and myself and our family while we spent the 12 years here in Doncaster and we will forever be thankful for their love and care and support. She was a lady uh, known for her laughter, for her uh, care, uh, 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 support and, and she she had what was called, what you might call a card ministry. She would remember people's birthdays and anniversaries, special occasions, times of need and send cards and that meant a, a great deal to many people. She appreciated receiving cards uh, on her birthday too but uh, perhaps that's something that uh, many of us have forgot these days of emails and and that perhaps we've forgotten how people really value a, a letter through the post or a card. Uh, or an indication that someone is thinking of us, someone is praying for us, perhaps someone is caring for us. Maybe that's a, a challenge for us all. About five years or so ago, Margaret had a fall at home. She tripped over a, a vacuum cleaner wire and broke her hip. And not only was that uh, damage to her physically, but also uh, psychologically. She seemed to lose her, her self-confidence and from that time on it's been a really tough time and increasing immobility um, struggling with life even eventually not anymore really using the telephone or, or and then when lockdown came and people couldn't visit it was really really tough for Margaret uh, some people did uh, keep in touch uh, initially when they could visited and she always loved visitors um, she wrote indeed in her diary that when anybody visited her uh, she, she loved it when people kept in touch on the telephone and again that's a reminder that uh, that you know lon lonely people and, and I guess there are many lonely people about it it's, it's often stated isn't it especially during lockdown and since we moved back to Doncaster we've hardly seen uh, any of our Doncaster friends because of uh, lockdown and restrictions on who you can visit and uh, and that but visiting keeping in contact especially with those maybe who've lost loved ones or have lost contact with the church because they, they're infirm or whatever do we keep in touch do we uh, keep assuring people that we're thinking of them that they're in our prayers and in our thoughts uh, and finally I just want to mention a particular hymn when I uh, when, just a few days before Margaret died I was able to visit her in hospital and uh, uh, another lady who was there called Sue is a friend of ours who 
showed such love and support and care of Margaret over many years. Um, we, we, we were, were thinking back of a, to a hymn that uh, Margaret loved called, I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus, trusting only thee, trusting thee for uh, full salvation, greater and free. And the, the other ver another verse, it says, I am trusting thee to guide me. Thou alone shalt lead every day and hour supplying all my need. And that was a, a verse, that a, a, a hymn that Margaret loved. And sometimes when she sent a card to me, she would write on, I am trusting thee, Lord Jesus. What a great testimony to Margaret's simple yet deep faith that even in the toughest of times, she put her trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And now she's gone to her eternal reward. I can just imagine, picture in my mind's eye, those words of Jesus to Auntie Margaret. Well done, good and faithful servant. A life well lived and we have so many precious memories. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today.